Fred Minnick here, and I'm about to review uh, JT Mellick rice whiskey coming out of coming out of Louisiana in the Acadia Parish is made by a farmer who was looking to diversify what he was doing, fourth generation rice farmer, and wanted to use uh, rice as as a means of uh, making spirits. Um, now we're accustomed to rice whiskey made in in Japan. Obviously, I'm a I'm a huge fan of sake. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen some of my sake offerings when I was in Las Vegas recently. But you really have not seen this be something that comes out of the United States. And this this is a whiskey that is aged in uh, in New Chard Oak. It's it's got all the the helpings of of being created like bourbon. It's got the got the new charred oak barrel, um, and obviously a lot of the similar client climate in uh, Louisiana. The humidity, uh, a little bit more moisture in uh, actually a lot more moisture in Louisiana, and you need a lot of moisture to to grow rice. But anyway, so this is a rice whiskey, and I've seen this done before. I have typically not liked rice whiskey, but this is going to be. A taste. I'm gonna give it. This is my third time to taste it. I will not tip my hand as to what I think, what I've thought of it so far. Now this is a coming in around forty-three dollars. Uh, this uh, this product is is one that is uh, in proof. It's it's not a lot in proof. Ninety-six. It's ninety. It's ninety-six proof. Forty-three dollars, and. You know, I'm just coming at it from the nose perspective, and I'm just thinking to myself, I'd spend forty-three dollars on this just on the nose alone. Also, it's from a small distiller in Louisiana. I love supporting smaller distillers, but this nose is really sweet. Loads of butterscotch here, caramel, and there's a like a like a brownie note. And I will say, like, there's a lot of, like, rice used in desserts, uh, Rice Krispie Treats. Uh, I'm not smelling, like, uh, an overt amount of rice here to me. When I'm smelling this, it smells like a lot of American whiskeys. It smells like the, the barrel just really kind of took charge of the distillate and is imparting all of its wood sugars here. Like, um, the aging really took hold here. This smells, it smells really lovely. Wow. This is so much better than I thought it was going to be. The nose is is beautiful, but on the palate it is it is a brown sugar butter uh brownie butterscotch. Um on the palate you can taste some rice, but it's like rice pudding. Uh, but even still, I would say that rice note is probably about the third or fourth thing that I taste. Now, on the finish, on the finish comes in like um, like a touch of of spice, but like a sweet spice, like almost like there is a uh chocolate covered like it's gonna sound weird but a chocolate covered jalapeno I, I get a lot of chocolate in this and so it, it's not a surprise to me that I find chocolate in the finish but the the chocolate covered spice like the the spice is like wrapped in like a like a chocolate note I feel it on the sides of my palate I feel it on the tip middle back I feel it all over my palate and even feel it a little bit on the way down this is, this is more, one of the more fascinating new whiskeys I have tasted, um, not just all year, but in in my career because it's a rice whiskey done here in the United States, um, and it's exciting. And I would say, if you are a whiskey lover, this is a bottle that you you want to hunt. Like if you are a bourbon lover, 
I think there's enough sweet notes in here. I think it's comparable enough to some bourbon styles. I think that you would love it. The only category of whiskey drinker that I think is going to be really off-put by this is going to be uh, a rye whiskey drinker who doesn't like bourbon. So if you're a rye whiskey drinker that's used to the herbs and the spice, uh, th this is one you probably want to stay away from. Uh, for the sweet tooths out there, the bourbon lovers, and the general consumer that's just really excited to learn more about whiskey and, and to push your palate, uh, this JT Mellick is really, really something. I'm going to have one more taste of it just to confirm I like it that much. Yeah. This is a, this is a must buy whiskey and what a what a great example of what a distiller can do when they're trying to be a little different when they're trying to not do what everyone else is doing and to make a rice whiskey I'll say it again a rice whiskey um, and come out of the gate with so much flavor and uh, this is batch uh, 122 for those who want to try to find the same batch that I am tasting but what a what a huge home run here for uh, JT Melick distillers um, they're also making some vodka I won't comment on that but I hope they're doing well they're definitely they're definitely putting out some great product here with this rice whiskey but that's going to do it for this uh, quick tasting hey if you want to see more honest reviews click that subscribe button and uh, let me know uh, what's a fascinating whiskey that you've had What's a whiskey that you would like to see me try? Put it in the comment section. I want to review more of these cool uh, new releases coming out. I know there's some salmon-flavored stuff out there. There's some things that are pretty gross on the market. I'm probably not going to review those. But put in the comment section what you would like to see me review. But that's going to do it here. Folks, be safe out there. And remember, vodka sucks unless it's being used for hand sanitizer. Cheers, everybody.